So what do you think of Los Barilas? It was better than I thought it would be, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's a cute little town. There's a lot of gringos. Muchos uh, gringos. Yeah. Apparently it was just a small little fishing village before, and then gringos came in. They loved it. There's beautiful mountains. There's the beautiful Sea of Cortez. It's a nice, quiet spot. And uh, There's wind. And there's a lot of wind. A lot of wind. So... So we, um, I guess we knew we were going to come here because everybody told us before we came to Baja that Los Barrios is awesome. We're going to love it. So we added it as one of our initial stops. And then I guess before we got here, we got a little finicky because all the campgrounds were really expensive. Like yeah, it's not cheap here. $25, $35 a night. Yeah. So because there are a lot of gringos here, anywhere there's gringos, we are gringos. We know it. We're not trying to hide the fact that we're gringos. But anywhere there's gringos, there's going to be a high price for everything. So we were kind of turned off by the idea of having to camp and pay in a campground for a lot of, um, you know, a lot of money. So what turned out is that we didn't have to pay to camp. There was a really great free beach spot on an Arroyo, and uh, it was pretty awesome. Really, the reason why we're here and the reason why we're in Baja, period, is we had two really cool experiences. So the first experience was um, we really didn't do anything yet, but we're going to be coming back mm -hmm. for East Cape Arts. And they're really involved in 19 schools in the area, started out promoting the arts in the schools, and uh, now it's really meeting the needs of the students. So it went from just trying to bring art into the, the schools to making learning fun because if learning can be fun, kids will be more inclined to pay attention and focus and become better, their, adults. become better adults, continue their education. So we're going to come back and connect with them because they got a lot going on um, in the spring and we'll be back for that. Um, and then the second thing was, well, that was probably your favorite. You're already smiling. My favorite. Cortez Dog Rescue. It was awesome. We got to play with dogs and puppies for a few hours from 9 until 12. They need exercise every day and they always need volunteers to come out and socialize Hang with on. the dogs. Do they need exercise or do they need love? Both. Okay. Exercise and love. Because there was a whole lot of love going on. Yeah. So you get to play with dogs as your volunteer activity. Um, really cool opportunity to get involved with the dogs, but I mean who wouldn't want to play with dogs? Yeah <laughs> We've seen a lot of cool stuff in Baja so far that was like really intensive like even that turtles and Toto Santos mm -hmm. They wanted a week of your time to be there. This is two hours one day yep. As you're passing through you could send an email get in touch make a phone call and say hey I'm gonna be in town tomorrow. Can I play with the dogs? You know what the answer is gonna be? Yes. Yes, the dogs always need love so, Los Perez is great from the standpoint of getting connected and grounded with what we want to try to help you understand what you can do when you travel here. And uh, we're going to come back and do more, but hopefully you have a, a taste in your mouth of what it's like here in Los Perez. But for now, we're going to be moving on from Los Perez. And where will we go? Okay, okay, okay. Lindsay, that wasn't very nice, was it? No, it wasn't. Okay, so we're going to Cabo Pulmo at the end of the peninsula. Yep, the very eastern, right? Yeah. Eastern end of the peninsula. It's still on the Southern. Sea of Cortez. It is a national park as well. And it's supposed to be spectacular. If you get in the water, which we might on this part of it, we're not sure. But if you go snorkeling, it's supposed to be beautiful. There's supposed to be actual reef. And um, so that's cool. But there is a monstrous dirt road to get out there. All along Cabo Palmo is not paved. So we will take you along the bumpy road. Yeah. 
And I'm probably going to be singing for pavement. Are you going to be singing? <laughs> People seem to like that. Uh. All right, we're going to hit the road and get to Cabo Pomo. Crazy bumpy road, Cabo Pomo. Thank you. Thank you. It's been good until we got to that part. Shelby did it again. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Uh, we passed through the small town of Cabo Pomo and we kept driving to a campground called Los Arbolitos. It's not really a campground, but it looks like it's uh, it is a place that's managed for 60 pesos per person. You can camp on the property and uh, you get out to the water and it's spectacular. What color is that? What color is the sky? Well, it's pink and blue right now. But behind you, it's orange and blue. The gators. Go gators. It was not windy today in Los Barrias, which meant it was not windy down here. Wind is supposed to pick up tomorrow. So we're gonna hit the water early. Well, early is like, I don't know, 10 o'clock. <laughs> We're gonna try to hit the water early and I'm gonna inflate the stand-up paddleboard, go out on the water and we'll probably snorkel a little bit because it's supposed to be pretty spectacular here. You can go right from the shore so you don't have to pay for a trip to get out onto the water and into the reef. Definitely one of the most beautiful beaches in Baja that we've seen. It's up there.